Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to improve the table structure in Microsoft Access 2016. So what is a table? A table is used to store the database. Now one thing running into your mind, what is a database? As per the definition, it says a database is a collection of information that is related to a particular subject or a purpose. In our practicals, we have created a table which has the customer information like the, his first name, last name, the address, his phone number and rest of the personal details. So in order to create this database, we have created a tables, right? And we have created different tables. Now, whenever we want to improve the structure of the table, we include the design view. Now, how you go to the design view? You go to the view tab onto your extreme right side of your menu and under the view tab, you can see the design view and the data sheet view. We can improve the table structure under the design view and make the necessary changes in each and every field. Now, every field has a data types. So we go ahead and define the each and every field according to its data type. We will have a better understanding how to improve the table structure in our practical approach. Now to explain you this, I'll be using the same example that I've been using for the rest of my videos. So as you must be familiar with this particular table, that is my customer table. Now I'll move to the navigation pane and I will copy this table. So in order to do that, I will simply go to the table section and I'll go to the customer. I will right click and simply click on copy. All right. Now this table has been copied. I'll again right click on the same area and I will say paste. So now this new table will be created. Now it says copy of customer. Let me change the name of this particular table. I say this would be import improved customer table. So we will improvise some things and this time I just want the structure. I do not want the data. So I'm just copying the structure of it and I simply hit OK. Now I have the improved customer table. Now if I double click out here, you can see uh, that the only structure has been copied and there's no database. Now let's try to go and improvise and try to improve this structure of this table. So in order to do that, I need to go to the view tab and I have to go to the design view. Now out here, I need to make some improvement. So if you can see the ID, the field, there are all the fields which are mentioned in my customer table are also mentioned out here as well. Now I'll try to change the data types so that it becomes more authentic. Now, if you can see the first name has the data type of short text. Yes, it will be always a text, but let's go ahead and make some modification out here. Now my first name will never exceed more than let's say 20 right a name cannot be more than 20 characters so i'm restricting the field size by 20 out here so this is the one thing which we can do now similar thing i'll be applying out here for the last name as well if you go on the last name and i'll go to the data type you can see the properties the field properties and the field properties also i'll make this as 20. now the street address will be again short it can be as long as possible so i'll simply keep it like that so it will be again a short text so i'll select this as a short text and if we can make it 255 if you really want a long text the moment i click on long text there is no restriction to it so you can select any which is we you want you want it all right so i'll select short text i can select a long text the way i want it now the state again it has some you can see short text, long text and the rest of the options. But I will again select the short text out here. I am given the validation rule that it will be only for AL, AK or AZ. These are the different states which are being mentioned. Apart from these, nothing can be entered. This is the validation which I have given. Now, this is the validation text as well, which says only US state must be entered. No, you cannot type any random two letters. It has to be between these right so this is the validation which we have already given now zip code again it has to be a number so i will mention that it's a number it cannot we cannot enter anything more than number out here so i'm giving it a text type as number the data type as number again the email is a long text it can go as long as we want again i'll move to the phone number i'll make it this as number again city it should be short text and rest of the things other notes the notes can be as long as possible so that's why i maintained it as a long text now let's go and try to see whether this changes has been implied or not so i will go and save this 
settings and I will move to the data sheet form. So let's remember that my first name will be text. My zip code will be again a number. My phone number will again be a number. So if I want to go and go ahead and change this. So let's go. And if I try to type a number out here, so you can see I will be able to type because it's a short text. So let's go ahead and write a random name. Let's say take my name. I'll take my name out here. So street address as long as possible. It can contain numbers and text as well, right? 13 Avenue Street state. It has to be between those. If I try to type any random number, random letters, it won't take it because it has to be a two letter postcode only. So it, I can only select it from the given database. That is AO one of the thing. I'm sorry. Let's go and check what we have. We have NC, so we'll only able to type NC out here because that is a validation. Now zip code has been a number. We have given the data type as number. If I try to type a letter, it is showing me an error. It's not allowing me to do so. So that's the reason I can only type number on a random digit. Email, it can be as long as possible. And also the phone number cannot be a text. As you can see, if I try to type a text, it will not allow me to do so, right? So this is how you can improve the structure of your database by determining what kind of data type it has to be entered. All right, let me add some phone number so it can be a random digit. Perfect. So and out here I have this drop down menu where I can select. All right. So this is how you can improve the structure of your database and try to restrict it to certain data types by going to the design view and changing the data types.